You waste years, like literally years, because you can't focus, you can't deliver, and you can't get things done. So unless you wanna find yourself three years, five years, 10 years from now in the exact same place you are today, doing the exact same things, getting the same results, you have to learn how to focus. So if you're like my cameraman here, Jason, who has ADHD, some people find it hard to focus. And if you're growing your business, if you're trying to grow sales, if you're starting a new job or a new career, there are a lot of things to get excited about. There are a lot of things that you want to attack. You wake up every day ready to kill it, ready to crush it, ready to take on the world. But it's really hard to focus in that environment. Think about it. You have team, you have operations, you have sales, you have marketing, you have finance. You have to get your processes down. You have to do your client work. You have to launch that new product. You have to think about two years from now, you have to deal with insurance. There are so many things that are vying for your time that are pulling you in these different directions. You may not have started your business yet, which means you not only need to get ready for the business you're starting, you have the career and the job that you have to do on top of the kids, on top of getting married, on top of traveling, on top of all those other things. It is really hard to focus. It is really hard to get things done. And here's the secret. Here's the secret. Most people cannot deliver anything. Most people cannot get things done. You can work in a big corporation and never get anything done and people wouldn't even know it. But when you are running your company, when you're responsible to shareholders, when you have to market and sale, you have to be able to get things done. And so I worked with a business coach. He used to say that people overestimate what they can get done in the short term and they underestimate what they can get done in the long term. And that always stuck with me. You know, you hear people talk about quarterly planning, about setting quarterly goals or maybe annual goals. And this is a really smart thing to do because that is gonna be the secret to focusing. Okay, so here's what you do. Focus on annual goals and quarterly goals. Your annual goals are the things that you're gonna to wanna to be able to do in the long term. Those are the one or two or three things at most that you wanna focus on. You wanna increase sales by 50 or 75 or 100%, that's a pretty big goal. You wanna be able to rebuild your culture, that's a pretty big goal. You wanna launch a new product, that's a pretty big goal. I think that it would be a very busy year if you tried to increase your sales, if you tried to turn over your culture and you tried to launch a new product. That is a lot for one person to do, but it is possible. So what you do then is you focus on your quarterly goals. And in your quarterly goals, you have one or two things that you wanna do that quarter. Now, the reason why Warren said that so many people overestimate what they can do in the short term and underestimate what they can do in the long term is because in the short term, you wanna do eight or 10 or 12 things. You have an issue with turning over your team and culture. You wanna not only roll out a new culture, you wanna hire five or six more people and you wanna bring them on board and you wanna make sure that you set up your processes and you have a new wiki and you're doing new hour tracking. You wanna do all of that right away. That's like seven things. And then on top of that, you wanna increase your sales. So not only are you gonna launch a new website, but you're gonna start a new marketing campaign, a new advertising campaign, go into new landing pages, and those landing pages are gonna to drive to this new sales team that you haven't even trained yet. Awesome, now you're doing 13 things. And then you wanna launch your new product. Of course, you're not gonna launch your product this quarter, but you wanna have it fully planned out. You wanna have the team in China selected. You wanna make sure that the drawings are done and you're getting your patent search done. Great, now you have like 22 things that you're trying to do this quarter. This is how most of us, entrepreneurs work. We have all these things we wanna do. We don't think there's any reason why we can't do them at the same time. So we wanna do everything. Now, what happens? Things take longer than we anticipate. We spread our focus too thin. And now we're three months out, we haven't done it. We're six months out, we haven't done it. We're nine months out, we haven't done it. And we go, what's the point, right? What's the point? It's been all this time, we haven't done it. We're busy, excited about the next thing. So now nine months have passed and we actually haven't gotten anything accomplished. We've started a lot of things, but we haven't finished anything. We haven't delivered anything. We've wasted nine months. Or we can look at approaching things with one or two things this quarter alone. So hiring the staff, we're gonna hire one staff person or two staff people this quarter. That is the goal for the quarter. And on the product side, we are gonna establish a contact in China. And that is what we are gonna do this quarter. All those other 22 things, we can't possibly focus on. We know we've won this quarter when we've hired now our two staff and we've established a relationship with a factory in China. Great, three months have gone by. Have we done that? Perfect, so now the next quarter, here's what we're gonna do. We wanna get started on that new advertising and marketing. We are going to select an agency or we are going to start with a sitemap or a wireframe or a strategy. That's one goal for the quarter. 
for the team, we are gonna research the wiki that we wanna go over to. Perfect, three months have gone by. Have we done those things? And you're gonna see how this stacks. You do very, very few things very well and deliver in that quarter. And by the end of the year, you'll have done eight things. Now, when we started the year, I wanted to do 22. I wanted 22 things done. Eight things is terrible. But trying to do all 22, nine months in, I haven't delivered a single thing. Doing things, one or two things per quarter, by the end of the year, I've delivered six, seven, eight wins, which is huge. Now, what if I do this year over year? Now, by the end of the third year, I've delivered 24 amazing wins. I've maybe done 30. I've gone on to do 40 wins because everyone is focused on one or two things each quarter, quarter after quarter, year after year. That is how you change a business. That is how you grow a business. That is how you get things done. Because the alternative is to try and scramble and focus on way too many things and get nothing done. And year after year after year, you find yourself in the exact same place where you started. I was looking through emails from 2013, 2014, 2015. Guess what I was writing myself notes about? I was worried about my team. I was worried about responsibilities. I was worried about how I was gonna build structure. Guess what I've been thinking about in 2018 and 2019? I've been thinking about my team. I've been thinking about responsibilities. I've been thinking about structure. Did I do anything in those five years? Not really. I was focused on a lot of things. Did I sit down and say, this quarter I'm gonna do this? Next quarter, I'm gonna do that. Quarter after that, I'm gonna do that. If I started in 2013, focusing on my team, my responsibilities and all of that stuff, five years later, I could have had 40 things done. That's huge. Instead, I'm looking back at emails from five years ago and going, why am I facing the exact same challenges I had five years ago? What a loser am I? I said it to my friend, Evan. I said, I've just blown five years of my life. I haven't got any of these things accomplished. I was embarrassed by it. Now, he was nice and he said, no, you've done all these other things, but I didn't focus enough. And guess where you're gonna be in five years if you don't focus right now? Don't be a loser like I am. That's the answer. Don't be a loser like me. Sit down this quarter, in the next three months, what is the one or two things you're gonna accomplish and you're gonna make sure that it's done. And then you're gonna start the next goal and the next goal and the next goal. And those things should all contribute to your annual goal. You do that, and next year you will be in a better place. The year after that, an even better place. You don't do it, and a year from now you'll be a loser like me. Now if you're like my cameraman Jason here who has ADHD, <laughs> you want me to lead with that or no? Yeah. <laughs>